Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have Driftface ROM based on Android 15. And after a pretty long time, I'm using Driftface ROM on this device. So this is an official version of Driftface ROM. And in my testing, Driftface ROM does work pretty well. So as you can see here, Android version 15, Driftface version 15.2, and the security patch level is from June 1st, 2025. And the ROM is actually built on Lineage OS, as you can see here. The UI looks good actually and pretty smooth too. The notification panel or control panel as you can see here. As for customization, we do get customization option like Driftfest customization. We get status bar options and all sorts of customization are available. In the miscellaneous option, we do get few things like unlimited photos, storage, load keybox data. So if you want to fix safety net issue, you can do it from here. By default, safety net is not passed. So you can't use bank application on this ROM. The lock screen option, we do get few things as you can see here. In terms of network connectivity, everything is working perfectly fine. Bo LTE, Bo Wi Fi, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, everything is working, no issue at all. In the display option, adaptive brightness is working well, no issue at all. We do get few options here like double tap to work, double tap to sleep, all these things are working. In the wallpaper and style section, as you can see here, the UI is pretty much similar to all other ROM. In the change wallpaper option, we don't really get any kind of AI wallpaper or emoji workshop, but we do get few default wallpapers as you can see here, Driftfest wallpapers. And few customization options are available here. In the log screen option, we do get few things like AOD option as you can see here, always show time and info. So if I turn it on, as you can see here, AOD is showing and working well. And there are few other options available. Notification options available, pretty much similar. Modes option available. Sound and vibration, as you can see here, working well. And the UI looks pretty much similar to Android 16 based ROM. And few other options are available here. And also, we do get part volume control, media options, and few things. Accessibility option available. In terms of security and privacy, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock. Working well, actually, I did try that. So, as you can see here, fingerprint unlock is pretty fast, no issue at all. For face unlock, face unlock is a little bit slower side and as Android 15 based ROM we do get private space as you can see here and also in the more security and privacy option we do get few other options like theft protection and app pinning and all those things are available. And in the app section as you can see here we do get game space, assistant, screen time, sidebar option as you can see here, sidebar option is available here and as you can see here it is working. I did not try sidebar actually could not able to find it in the customization option. Usually you find it in the customization option but I don't really know why it is here. And that's all what we are getting there. In terms of battery, the battery is doing pretty well. No drain issue or anything like that. But fast charging is still not working. Storage. By default it will take up to 15 GB of storage as Android 15 based ROM. System setting, we do get few options here and also we do get Xiaomi parts option as you can see here. And that's all what you are getting in the setting panel and I do really like the setting UI, looks good. In terms of application, this ROM does come with GApps, so you no need to flash GApps separately. And we don't really get any kind of MIUI camera here, but GCam Go is included with the ROM and it is working well, no issue at all. As you can see here and I did install another Gcam which is also working and for music we get a accord music player which is included with the ROM as you can see here and we do get few other applications as I said we are not getting any kind of Google Play product certification so bank apps not going to work setting about as you can see here device is not certified WhatsApp is working well, no issue. I did try actually. And ChatGPT is working, although we don't really have Google Play product certification. As you can see here, it is working. And in terms of Google Photos, we do get Google Photos unlimited storage, as I said. As you can see here, unlimited storage is available. But if we try Magic Editors, let's try it. Enhance. And 
ਤਿੰਨ ਸੜਕਾਂ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ and as you can see here magic editor is working well and in terms of phone call as i said bo lt and bo wifi working so as you can see here bo lt bo wifi working and also call recording working so call recording is also working well no issue at all and as for other features we do get circle to charge which is working well as you can see it is slow actually but working well no issue at all and in terms of gaming the rom is doing pretty well you will get pretty consistent fps out of this rom and working pretty well so for gaming also you can go with this rom and overall ui and everything working pretty well as you can see here pretty smooth no issue at all and i haven't find any kind of major issues with this rom the minor issues i have found like fast charging is still not working and also you are not getting any kind of safety net although safety net is fixable manually you can try it these are the issues we are getting with this rom if you want to try this rom i will put the rom link in the description below it is a pretty decent rom you can try it so thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next one